Hello YouTube, today on Featured Figures I have a plethora of 124 scale or 75 millimeter figures for your reviewing pleasure. Getting started here, we have from Stalingrad figure which is named The Girl. This one is kit number S002. You can see it's molded all in one. And actually has a really nice base. Probably we'll use that as the actual base for this figure. A couple of holes that need filled and the actual casting itself. Trying to get my auto focus to lock in there. So next up is from Kabuki Models. And this is more of a pinup from the old fairy tale of Snow White. So you have your main base piece here have an additional base that will sit on top of that which has basically some ground texture and the tree stump. The uh, little bunny rabbit that will be looking up at Snow White. One of the legs is molded in so here is the other one. You have to clean up the casting mark there. Get that attached. Have one of the two arms here straight, and the other one is holding the nice shiny apple. And then lastly, have the actual figure itself. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There we go, that's a little better. You can kind of see the lighthearted, playful nature of this. We're getting ready to take a bite out of the apple. Slide that up out of the way. Next up from Kabuki Models, and I apologize, uh, Snow White was kit number 3413. Uh, the next one is kit number 7501 and is called Star Vixen. So, really basic base. This one goes and kind of is a parody of the Star Wars saga with the stormtroopers. We have a uh, Stormtrooper pinup. And as such, have the helmet with the two hands molded. We have her two arms and then the head, which has her hair being flipped out of the helmet. And then lastly, the uh, blaster. And I apologize if that is not the real name for that. Not much of a Star Wars fan. Next one from Kabuki Models is 7504 and Bonnie. Let's start off here with the base. We have nice detailed base with coins and other plunder from this pirate's nice haul from Day of Plundering. So taking a look here, we have her hat, have her other leg, which basically puts her into a Captain Morgan style pose. You have the sheath for her sword, the blade as well as there, a couple of handles for the sword, her hands, pistol, and then the other side of the base. And then lastly, again, you have the actual figure. of mold lines that you might want to kind of tidy up, especially up on the skin. Right. Next up, this uh, is going to be from Valkyria and is VHP03 and is called SAS Girl. Let's see, we got a base here. This one is based kind of in a North Africa World War II era. So you have the base, nice dirt texture. We'll go ahead and jump right into the figure on this one here. See, really pretty nice molding. Happened to notice during my review here, though, that mine is missing one of the heels that decided to break off. So I'll have to fabricate something. And 
getting into the parts here, you have the spool of wire, some TNT, T-handles, as well as her left hand there. Other little tree here has her right hand holding a nice Tommy gun. And then the actual um, explosion uh, box for the dynamite and a nice box. I'm assuming that would be holding the TNT sticks or dynamite sticks. And then shield that just says, who dares wins. Next one from Valkyria is VHP04 and is the Slavic shield maiden. This one has a nice base with some really nice ground texture, as well as the bare skin rug. And we'll jump right into the figure on this one. Theme kind of behind this one is a shield maiden who is painting up the shield before her husband goes into battle. So you have that. And then inside of the little baggie here, I'm going to kind of keep things in here just to keep from losing any small bits. Uh, but we do have the uh, legs that make up the tripod there, which is those three. Have an additional set of uh, two poles here as well. And then kind of flipping around here. Have a sword and sheath. Have her hand holding one of the bowls. Her other hand over here, which is holding the paint brush. The bowl sitting on the ground. And then you have the main shield itself, which has a really nice wood texture. And really nicely detailed backside texture as well. Flip that off to the side. Next one is from Andrew and Miniatures, and it's called Suncare. This one kind of goes on a Gil Everson design uh, pinup. Basically, the theme is a uh, lady got home from the beach, looked in her mirror, and noticed she got a lot more sun than she expected and was nice and burned. So, with that, we have the mirror, which is just a thin piece of resin with the frame have the one arm, the other arm is molded in, as well as the two legs. You have the stand here, which is in three parts, which will be for the mirror itself. As you can see, there's quite a bit of cleanup with this one. You have the base piece, which is a really thin piece of resin that is extremely warped. We have the two legs of a stool that she is sitting on. The third leg is molded into the actual body of the figure. Really nice hair and face detail. Very crisp detail, especially in the hair. Have part of her towel with one of her hands molded in there. And that basically will fit right into here on the main body of the figure. Oops. Which you can see there. Her sitting on the stool and again, really nice detail. And last but not least is from Andrea Miniatures Up to Mischief. Now my base I did actually break, you have to be careful again, these are very thin bases, uh, but does have the pillow, uh, part of the dress, and then some other knick-knack items. You have her head and hair, pretty good detail on that. You have her two arms, which is holding up a nice dog. Now this is going to take a little work to get rid of that seam. Two legs, not a whole lot to it. And then the main body and torso. Now the premise to this is the dog spilled out the purse, which is right here. So hope you guys have enjoyed this look. Have a wonderful